Today, we're going to talk about some of the things you should always do right away on eBay, things that will help you and advance your business. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about some of the things that you should do right away whenever they happen. Things throughout your store that many people will wait or don't think are as important as they really are. We're going to hop over to my store and we're going to look at a few things that you should always be doing. So here we are in my store. We are in the seller hub. Now, the biggest thing that I should say is answering every message that comes in immediately. Far too many people don't think it's necessary to answer their messages. I've had dozens and dozens of people tell me that it doesn't usually get a sale, so they just don't answer any question. Many times they tell me that people are just feeling out to see what they can get out of it and aren't really interested. I would say that's not the case for the majority of every single question that I get in. Now, if you do Amazon and some other sites, you've got a time frame you are required to answer your emails in, questions from buyers and things like that within a certain given time. Now, eBay doesn't have a necessarily stated policy, but there's recommendations to get back with them within a certain time frame, usually 48 hours or less. One thing I have noticed is if I answer and send out everything I can immediately, it does garner some more activity in my store. Now, it does seem that eBay may have some sort of metrics with how soon you answer and all that sort of thing. If you don't plan on answering a message, always go in and mark as answered. You can go to the page that has messages and do the little drop down. I don't have any because I do answer mine as quickly as humanly possible across the board. It has done a world of good. I have had action through my store by touching on anything I can address immediately. Now, one right as important as answering questions is sending out offers to watchers. If you send them out constantly, you will get a ton more. Now, usually I would only send them out two or three times a day is what I was doing. And I've been tracking how many offers to watchers I am able to send by doing that. What I did start a little while ago, a week or so ago, was sending them out constantly. If I've got five, I'll take a few moments and send those five out. Another hour later, if I've got four or five more, I will send those out. And what I have noticed is the more I send out, the more frequently I send them out, the more frequently I get new ones in that I can send out. Yesterday alone, I did over 400. Now, some of them have dropped off, so it only says 344. I sent some out already this morning, just about an hour or so ago, and I've got 30 new ones just in the last hour or so. So sending them out constantly and quickly will get more into your store quite often. I, and I do mean quite a few more. I hadn't been running that many offers to watchers again because I was only doing them a couple times a day. So if you got a few moments every hour or something, try it out and just see what it does for you. But I can almost guarantee you from all the times I've done this, I almost always get some more almost immediately if I send them out. Now what we had been doing for quite some time is waiting. So if an item was just listed, we would usually wait 30 days. We did though want to have a straight result, so we wanted to send offers out for everything and just clear them off constantly. So we sent off offers to items that we just listed just though for a few percentages off, say 5% at the most on any of them. It just cleared its way so we could keep sending and hammering these offers to watchers out. And it has built up so we're constantly getting them in. We have done this now for a week, and every one of the days that we have done this constantly, all day long, sending out offers to watchers, it has kept increasing the amount of offers to watchers we were able to get. That number has steadily increased. So I usually don't have that many in just that short of time. Now, I can't guarantee it's going to work for everybody, but for us, it definitely is a difference when I start sending out a whole bunch constantly, all day long, all day long. I'm working 10, 12 hours a day. Why not just constantly go? and take a couple minutes out to see. I've said it before, we always have screens opened with that option. So I can instantly come over there and just click one button to refresh and boom, if I have any options to send offers to watchers, I will have that ability. 
Now this goes for anything. Anything that comes to your store, comes to your eBay seller account, take care of it immediately. It really does seem to give you a little bit of a boost by handling these right off the bat, especially the questions. I can say too, we've been tracking how many questions we get in and how many sales we get out of those questions, and it's over 50%. So it's a very high amount of people that ask questions that actually buy from us. So I would always recommend addressing those immediately. If you don't answer an, a question that someone may have, they may find that same item somewhere else with the answers for them, and they'll buy that one instead of yours. If you've got somebody on the hook, whether it's for a question or not, you've got that person in the door, like on a brick and mortar. I would relate answering and addressing everything immediately like a brick and mortar store. You've got somebody in the building in a brick and mortar store if they're asking you a question. You've already got them in the door, and that is the bad that you have to win. You have to be able to get people into your store. So if they are asking questions, they are in your store. You should always answer those immediately. You can also track your questions. You can write them down, see how many of those questions equate to a sale yourself. You might be surprised. I would always want to answer those immediately because again, it can garner that sale. Anything you can do once they're in the door, you've got to keep them in there. So when you're answering those questions, answer them right away. Be polite. Give them the information that they need. Even if, say, somebody asks about something that's actually listed in the description, I still tell them and tell them it is in the description. If you look down here, there is some more information that you might find helpful. It's basically what I tell them. So even if it's in there, don't be insulting. Be polite. You want these people to continue to buy from you. The more you help them out, the more you answer them, the more often they're going to remember you over somebody else. This person didn't answer me, so I'm not going to go back to their store. This person did answer me and they have a bunch of other stuff. Maybe I'll come back and see what else they have because I know they'll help me if I need something. It's just like when a customer walks into a store and no one offers to help them even though they're obviously trying to find something. It's the same principle. We have left stores and not bought anything just because the customer service was so bad. I would have rather driven somewhere else and not supported that business because of how they handled it. And that's what a lot of people are going to assume if you don't address these right away. And like I said with the offers to watchers, the more you send out, the more you will get in. So if I send out 20 now, I will be able to send out some more later on. I constantly, constantly hammer those. If you haven't read how eBay handles the offers to watchers, it's based on many different factors. If you have none available at a time and someone else has a whole bunch, you may get more of those just because you don't have any sitting there. There's other aspects you got to think of. If you wait on some of those offers, to watchers, they may not be available later on. So when you go to send them out, they may have got an offer from somebody else to them. So you've got to take up any of these chances you can get constantly, constantly, constantly. Just like when a straight out offer comes in, I address them immediately. Even if it's for a real low ball amount, I will counter back with what I want out of it. If they don't like the price, oh well, but I always give them the chance from that point on. Many people will try to get something cheap, but they still want it. So even if you counter back at a decent price, they may still take it. We sell things all the time for that very same reason. One last thing I should say that you should always address immediately is any cases whatsoever. If somebody's asking to return something, accept it immediately if that is your policy. No matter what the reason is on eBay, you are required to take back returns, even if your account says no returns accepted. All they have to do is open up an item not as described. So any of those cases I handle, we actually offer a free 30-day return on all of our items. It's been a big whirlwind of help because once somebody opens the return, they can't ding you for anything with that. You are free and clear from feedback as long as you honor all those steps of it. But anyway, those are the things that you should always, always, always do immediately. They're going to get you some action on your store. They're going to get you more opportunities to send offers to watchers, which means you're going to sell more items. This has worked to immensely. I try things all the time and this one does seem to work. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Tour, the foremost checkers game. Four in a row wins. Play it fast for fun. Think it out for a challenge. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Connect four. For real. For everyone. For last. Fortissimo. For winning. Forget it. Forgive me. Oh. For kids. For Kate. For Sarah. For fun.